Our work title is Microwave Plasma Process Self-Catalyzed 3 and 6 L Stainless Steel Fiber Felt Paper Porous Transport Layer for Oxygen Evolution Reaction in Anion Exchange Membrane Water Electrolysis with Machine Learning Assisted Analysis. In the face of climate change and the urgent need for energy transition, hydrogen has emerged as a key solution for achieving net zero emissions. To produce low carbon hydrogen, one promising approach is to use renewable energy or nuclear energy for water electrolysis, converting surplus electricity into hydrogen. This green hydrogen or pink hydrogen not only produces zero carbon emissions, but also offers high energy density making it suitable for energy storage, transportation, and industrial applications. To support the wider use of low-carbon hydrogen, research is increasingly focused on improving technologies such as anion exchange membrane water electrolysis, or AEMWE. One of the most important factors in this process is selecting the proper material for the porous transport layer, or PTL. In this project, high energy efficiency and high ionization rate microwave plasma treatment was applied to enhance the self-catalytic properties of 3 and 16 L stainless steel porous transport layers, further improving water electrolysis performance, reducing hydrogen production energy consumption, and lowering equipment construction costs. Stainless steel paper contains nickel and iron to possess self-catalytic properties for oxygen evolution reaction in anion exchange membrane water electrolysis. No catalyst layer is required, and therefore the catalyst delamination can be avoided to improve the long-term durability. The cost of stainless steel paper is only one-fourth that of nickel fiber paper, commonly used in anion exchange membrane water electrolysis. The design of our microwave plasma machine performs synergetic effect of microwave stainless steel paper and plasma stainless steel paper interactions, which rapidly oxidize the stainless steel paper. It enables the rapid formation of an oxide layer on the stainless steel paper surface within only 15 seconds. This microwave plasma process produced oxide layer can further improve the catalytic performance and durability of the stainless steel paper porous transport layers. After 15-second microwave plasma processing, the overpotential reduced from 328 to 304 millivolt at 10 milliampere per square centimeter. The microwave plasma process stainless steel paper has lower overpotential, lower taffle slope, lower charge transfer resistance, and higher reactive surface area. Anion exchange membrane water electrolysis is an emerging technology that combines the advantages of alkaline water electrolysis and proton exchange membrane water electrolysis. In anion exchange membrane water electrolysis, an anion exchange membrane replaces the traditional diaphragm used in alkaline water electrolysis, enabling operation at higher current densities and preventing gas mixture. As the system operates in an alkaline environment, non-precious metals can be used to reduce the cost. In addition, the use of low concentration electrolytes minimizes equipment corrosion and maintenance requirements. A single cell AEMWE was assembled using MP-treated 3 on 6 l SSP as the anode OER PTL and tested under operating conditions of 1 molar potassium hydroxide at degrees Celsius. In the cathode dry operation mode, a current density of 1 amp per square centimeter was achieved at an operating voltage of 1.86 volts with an energy consumption of 47.96 kilowatt hours per kilogram of hydrogen. When switching to cathode wet operation mode, the voltage decreased to 1.80 volts for one amp per square centimeter, and the energy consumption was reduced to 46.67 kilowatt hours per kilogram of hydrogen. The results demonstrate that the hydrogen production energy consumption of this system is lower than that of existing commercial AEMWE systems indicating excellent energy efficiency and cost effectiveness. The current system uses ruthenium as the hydrogen evolution reaction catalyst. The price of ruthenium is about one third that of conventionally used platinum. We aim to further reduce the cost by developing non-precious metal HER catalysts. We employed machine learning models to analyze the overpotential and tafel slope of non-precious metal HER electrocatalysts. The XG Boost model showed the best performance based on root mean squared error and coefficient of determination. We further applied Shapley additive explanations analysis on the XG Boost model. The results indicate that potassium hydroxide performs better than sodium hydroxide as an electrolyte, and nickel, molybdenum, and iron based materials show strong potential for future development of non precious HER catalysts.